Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. Today we have a get ready with me and I also wanted to chat with you guys just a little bit of what's been going on in my life and kind of some changes that are going to happen that you guys will be seeing and just like, I don't know, get a little bit more personal because you guys love that. Before we get started, I do want to thank Dossier for partnering with me on this video. You guys know I love Dossier so much. They are a perfume company based in France. They have risk-free orders, which basically means that you can try out the product before you commit to it. So the bigger version is actually going to have a little sticker on it and you do not want to use that one. You want to try out these small ones first so they do give you a little sample size that you can actually throw in your bag you can take it to work you can do anything that you want and then just try it out and see how it meshes with your body chemistry and then if you decide that you like it and you like how it wears on your skin then you can obviously just go ahead and break the seal for the bigger one and end up keeping that um dossier is vegan and cruelty free so i do want to mention that no animals were harmed in making this product and they also use really clean ingredients which is also really great because it's going to be on your skin you don't want like chemicals and stuff meshing with your skin especially if you have sensitive skin i feel like a lot of people are not really aware of where the perfume is kind of hitting so sometimes um if i use a perfume that i'm like allergic to or if it has an ingredient that my skin does not does not do well with then i will get like a little bit of a rash like on my neck and it can kind of turn into like really severe eczema so i'm really aware of like the ingredients that are in perfumes so dossiers perfumes are honestly the only ones that i've been using and i really love them like i said they have dupes for higher end which is also really great because if you guys don't want to contribute to like bigger name brands then obviously just pick one out from dossier and support a smaller brand the one that i have here is inspired by chanel's chance eau de Parfum and eau de parfum actually lasts a lot longer than colognes so i think that it's really great to note that and the top notes are i don't even know how to pronounce this so i'm gonna leave this i'm gonna leave the notes on the screen but this one smells really good and i've actually never smelled uh the chanel perfume but i did want it for christmas and i'm so happy that i got it with dossier because it's honestly one of my favorites i've been using it all the time and um the sample size is actually my favorite because i can take it on the go with me and it's really simple and easy to use so like i mentioned if you guys are interested you can check out the link that i have in the description bar down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the video i still have everything in my niece bb from when i was like traveling um so i just have like all of these and literally like have not washed them or anything that <laughs> i really need to wash them but i've just been so crazy busy so anyway let's go ahead and get started if i have a little bit of like the sniffles um i'm just like i don't know a little like sad right now because someone in my family um in my primary family has covid and we're like really concerned about it so if i feel like if i look like my mood is like a little bit down or i feel or i look like a little bit sad um i kind of am just because covid is like no joke and um when it affects your family it definitely hits you differently so yeah i just put on a little bit of lip balm this is the laneige sleeping mask in vanilla and i really love that one so let me just put my hair back because it's like just in my way there we go so i'm gonna use the baby skin pore eraser and i was gonna bring out my other camera to film this but i feel like it makes the footage look a little bit darker so I opted to just um, go ahead and film with this camera, even though it's a little bit different. But how have you guys been? It's been so long since I've talked to you guys. I'm filming this on January 2nd, so I'm hoping that I can get it up for you guys very soon. But yeah, it's been a while, only because I have so much going on in my life right now, and I'm starting school next next month, and I'm just trying to figure out like all the books and everything that I need. And you guys, it's a lot. It's a lot to do. So I'm just gonna use my BB cushion that I made and i'm just gonna put this all over my face um so yeah it is quite a lot i feel like i have so much on my plate right now and i don't even know where to start you guys like i really want to open up to you guys and share with you like what's going on and like some changes that are going to happen but i really just want to keep it to myself first and not like jinx anything um so i think it's really important for me to just kind of like live my life and do it peacefully and everything um i also did lose a like a bunch of weight first of all because i wasn't eating for like five days because i was super stressed out and it was just like one thing after another like you guys know when you when like something happens to you and like another thing happens the next day and then the next day and then the next day and you're like what the fuck like why me why me right why me i think at the end of the day i just kind of like came out a little bit stronger because like every obstacle like has an outcome right and it's up to you to decide whether the outcome is positive or negative and so it was really up to me to just kind of decide like what direction i wanted to kind of go with my life and everything so yeah really crazy but yeah i'm really excited about school i was really stressed out last 
last semester and honestly like the grades that i got was going to determine whether or not i was going to be depressed because actually um that my one of my classes was so hard but i got a b in it so i'm so so happy and then my second grade is actually not up yet but i'm waiting for the professor to post it because he said it should be up by the time winter semester start or winter quarter whatever semester i don't even know anymore you guys but he said that the grades will be up by then and i turned in all of my stuff like pretty, i turned in like most of my quizzes towards the end like super late so i'm hoping that he has a chance to kind of review everything and i'm just so grateful that he gave us that little bit of extra time because i really needed it hold on i have like my lash so yeah i think 2021 is like my year to be quite honest i know a lot of people say that right this is going to be my year i'm gonna make things i'm gonna do things differently and stuff but honestly honestly like i don't even know how i'm smiling right now because i have so much going on but um if you guys have followed me on Instagram, I really haven't even been posting much on there either because I forget to post. Like, I'm doing so many things at one time that I just forget to post. But um, I think it's really important for me today to just, like, film and sit down and just chat with you guys because you guys really helped me <laughs> through a lot. And um, just this whole situation going on with my family and just a lot of personal stuff, I feel like it's really been taking a toll on me, and like, which is why I haven't been eating. And I know it's not healthy to not eat, but I, like, when your stomach just, like, won't, keep the food down it's really hard so i've just kind of been like not really focusing on like not so much as like force feeding myself but just letting my body do its thing and if it loses weight it loses weight if i you know yo-yo back to the weight that i was before then i yo-yo back like i'm just letting my body do its thing i'm not going to force it to feed or anything um i am completely fine with that and i just feel like you know however i feel is how i feel so i did get my lashes done a few days ago and they still look amazing i love my lash tech and if you guys are in the downtown area she actually has her um, she actually has her client list open, her clientele list open, so you guys can book with her and then you can get grandfathered in for a few prices before she raises them. Um, she raises them every so often, so it's really important to just get the pricing that you want and she does amazing lashes, like I absolutely love them. I'll leave her Instagram up on the screen in case you guys are interested as well. I hope you guys can hear me well because one time I was using this mic and it sounded like really weird, so I'm hoping that it turned out well, but if it doesn't then... I'm gonna have the same audio that I had on my Christmas video, which I hope I don't. Yeah, like when I'm traveling, I really don't need many brushes at all. Like this is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. And like I'm counting my lash comb brush too. So this just has bronzer on it, that's all. But yeah, I've really been loving like doing my makeup every morning. I know I told you guys this already, but doing my makeup in the morning just makes me feel like so alive and just, oh, it just makes me feel so much better. Like even if you're having like a shit day, it's really important to do your makeup because I really do not want to go do anything right now. <laughs> um, it's really important to do your makeup because like you're just gonna feel like a lot better. Like when you look at yourself in the camera, you're gonna be like, damn, I'm that bitch. <laughs> Before I start laughing and everything, let me just set this. Mm -mm -mm. We haven't really been doing anything. It's just kind of been super chill, like the beginning of the month, like Christmas time and everything. I've just kind of been laying low and just kind of taking time for myself and doing things for myself and organizing cleaning decluttering just all that stuff i still have so much more to clean up like i'm not gonna have time to do all of that this week which i really have to but i really hope that i'll have time to do it i just have to make time but oh, i don't know i've just i just feel like i've been doing a million and one things i was in san diego yesterday uh, visiting a friend and then i'm going to newport tomorrow to visit another friend and it's just like oh so crazy and newport is actually like really i think a lot of the things are open there in orange county so i'm really excited to go but obviously not to be amongst a bunch of people but i'm gonna be super careful and um i want to get tested for COVID again just because i want to see my family and it's actually been a while since i've gone to visit them and hearing that about my grandpa just really like it really was just like like as if <laughs> as if like my week wasn't already like down here it just went like even lower and i try my best really to be positive in any situation which is why like i'm not like on camera crying because i think i kind of just absorb like the shock and just my mood my attitude and it's basically how it's been i don't feel sad about anything anymore because like before i used to cry with every little like bad um bad news that i got and now i just kind of like I, I don't know, I just come to a place where I just take it in and I kind of just think about it and, you know, from there I'll reflect on, like, what, if I'm going to do anything about it, if I'm going to go visit the person, 
Um, if you know there's a way that I can fix the situation, uh, I usually go through a few steps to I don't know, kind of like just not burst. You know, I think it's really important to just keep your composure when you're put in tough situations. So a lot of people have been commenting on my videos, like asking me where I am, what I'm doing, and stuff. And I have showed you guys like a little bit here and there on Instagram, but I mean, I guess not that much, but just like when I'm home with Luna. <laughs> But yeah, I'm super excited um, for like the future and everything and to do more classes, to travel. I'm hoping that we can do the vaccine sooner and then I can travel um, just because traveling is like a huge thing. And I definitely don't want to stick to Mexico anymore. I want to go like to other places. So uh, the first place on my list is definitely South Korea, whether I go alone or like if i have a companion i would really really want to go to south korea like as soon as i can and it's not even like k-pop like culture like i don't even care about that i just like really love their little cafes and everything and i just think it's so cute and i've been studying the language so i think it's really fun that i can like practice it when i go and also um we're also gonna go to cambodia for sure i want to go in 2021 like this year <laughs> this year it doesn't sound real like it doesn't sound like it's this year like it sounds like it's way like way later i was going to use the glossier cloud paint i have this one in dusk this like berry color but i like using this more when i have like a natural makeup day so i'm just going to save it for a different day i'm going to go back to my innis free one but yeah you guys i know you guys want me to be like more personal but right now i just feel like there's not really much to share i we haven't really been doing anything um luna has been fine i have to visit family like on monday i think i'm not even sure like if i'm gonna do that because monday is like such a busy day for me and you guys i've been working like non-stop around the clock just because like work is work and i have to make a living so um i've been working like crazy and i'm hoping that life will just find its place to <laughs> to like calm down a bit i feel like i'm doing my makeup super fast right now but not really i i was looking back at like old photos and i really miss how the highlighter on the tip of the nose looked so i just did that today but I feel like last year was the most, I mean, obviously, right? Like challenging for everyone as to, in terms of like, like, well, some people, it was tough for them financially. Some people, you know, it was a strain on their relationship because you're locked in the house together um, basically 24 seven. But I feel like it really just kind of made us understand each other better and really get to know other people better and, you know, kind of their tendencies and just what kind of person they really are. So I'm honestly like, really grateful that i was able to start school again even though it was just online school i think that it still gave me the opportunity to experience that again and realize that like an education is definitely something that i want to accomplish and even if it takes a while even if i take a break here and there if i have to like i have to i'm not really going to force myself to do anything and I'm trying to figure out what lip combo to do let's just do this one i really just can't force myself to do anything that i'm not interested in so for me to start school i did not think it was going to be that challenging to be completely honest but obviously when you take a hiatus and you go back it's going to be a lot tougher but still so proud of myself like i cannot get over that like i know people are going to be like oh it's just school it's just school it's just your bachelor's but for me i've been through so, so fucking much in my life that it was such an accomplishment for me and i'm just so happy that i was able to go back and do that again so yeah and i know some people are given like a golden spoon and they don't even finish so that's crazy is it golden spoon silver spoon right silver spoon i'm gonna put on some gloss i honestly don't really like this lip combo together like coconut liner with this gloss this is i know i know what gloss is hot toddy it's a nice color but it, my, my face like looks like a lot brighter but it's just because the camera is like the light the ring light is on i've been having to like moisturize like crazy because of the weather the weather is something else you guys okay so that looks good and then i have my lash extensions like i said i'm just gonna put on some uh facial spray this is the urban decay setting spray the like ginormous one so i'm just gonna go ahead and spritz this on That's pretty much all that I have for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel down below. Also, don't forget to check out Dossier in the description bar down below. I will have a code as well as a link so you guys can go ahead and get a little bit of a discount. Hopefully, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!